On behalf of the 33rd Guam Youth Congress, Senator Amanda Shelton recently introduced the Club for Credit Program Act of 2021. It aims to assist with credit recovery for Guam public high school students who struggle during the ongoing global COVID-19 pandemic. Stephanie Lorenzo is a speaker for the 33rd Guam Youth Congress. We introduced the Club for Credit Act of 2021, and that bill is basically to help bridge the gap for those students that um, experienced credit loss during the pandemic while they have to, you know, shift to online learning or distance learning. The program will be under the Guam Department of Education. The student failure rate at GDOE increased during the COVID pandemic, ranging from 30 to 40 percent. Pre-COVID, it was at just 25%. Lorenzo cited how the program would work if passed into law. Let's say a student is in DECA. DECA is known for like the marketing club um, within the schools. And so if a student is in DECA and they are an active member of the club, meaning, you know, they attend the meetings, they participate in the services, you know, they help with the outreach. Um, it is, if this bill is implemented, then that student who is a part of DECA will receive one, either one, sorry, either 0.5 or the one full credit towards their, you know, marketing elective. Students will need to complete at least 120 hours with a club or two in order to obtain a full credit. About 60 hours with a club can earn up to half a credit. Additionally, Lorenzo shared that hopefully this program will incentivize students to join a school club. This really will help students you know, want to want to be more active within their school and within their school community. Clubs are a really great avenue and opportunity for our youth to gain valuable networking skills. Um, they can develop character, leadership skills, you know, that they learn how to compromise. Lorenzo noted a student can only earn a maximum of one full credit from the program. If passed, the program will go into effect school year 2024 to 2025. Reporting for KUAM News, Guahusi Isaiah Agan.